media greatly influences society. They inform people about what is happening. It permeates people's lives by creating their own criteria and opinions. In this way, the media moves the masses, creating different social movements. For over 60 years, the people of Ambazonia were deprived of such privileges. The privilege to enhance their own criteria and opinion. They have suffered cultural genocide for six long decades, but not The Black American Dilemma. Rescue Amazonia from ruthless killers. When European first colonized North American continent, the land was vast, the work was harsh, and there was a severe shortage of labor. In 1619, the first ship of black men and women arrived in America. So beginning early in the 17th century, my ancestors were being stolen, kidnapped from Africa, ripped from their families, and enslaved by ruthless slave traders and so-called slave masters. When we talk about roots within the family, we envision a progenitor an ancestor from whom a person is descended. As a noun, root is a condition of belonging to a specific place or group by virtue of ethnic and cultural lineages. When we talk about African diaspora, we are referring to all black people scattered around the globe in various communities. Most of them in the Americas, especially the United States of America. We share the same DNA, the same stories, the same challenges and anxieties. And so when we see conditions of mass killings and unwarranted violence, it does not sit well with us. We cannot understand, we cannot underestimate the power of our connections. Our history as black people is intricately linked. We have been subjected to violence and mass killings and dehumanization due to systemic racism and black on black violence. In the 15th century, a forced migration occurred through transatlantic slave trade that lasted for 400 plus years. During that time, mass killings occurred, yet we survived as a people. 
colonization and neocolonialism saw mass killings of our people and many others around the world. In fact, before the killings in Ukraine, there were killings in Nigeria, Democratic Republic of Congo, genocide in Rwanda, and now mass killings and genocide in Ambazonia, Southern Cameroons. Thanks to DNA testing, many of you African-American celebrities, actors and entertainers have traced your roots to Ambazonia and West Africa. You can and should use your celebrity status for the common and greater good. As children of God, we have to build a spiritual army comprised of good people who care for humanity, people who will support us to end mass killings and genocides around the world. Please join in the movement to end this unwarranted violence and mass killings. Sign the petition and stop the mass killings in Ambazonia and the world over. Stop the killings so that our brothers and sisters can come home. The messages to our country's president, vice president, governors, and senators are not about the horrors of slavery in America. It is about the blatant disrespect that is yet swept under the dirty rugs of democracy as people of color yet struggle under the disguised deceptive practice of systemic racism. We are sending you this electronic packet to offer you an opportunity to do something decent for people of color throughout America and throughout our motherland, Africa. A 21st century genocide in the former British Southern Cameroons. This is the story of Ambazonia. It is a story we must take to the White House until the genocide ends. You see, for the past five years, we have protested in front of the White House. We have written letters to the White House, yet the genocide continues in the former British Southern Cameroons, Ambazonia. The silence has been deafening. This year, in 2022, we the people are journeying to the White House, fortified with the many voices of celebrities. Yes, this enhanced power of the people would produce the raw necessary to bring the genocide to an end because our whispers for the past years were too faint and never heard. trained as an IT professional from the comfort of your home. Dynamic Tech Academy gives you a unique opportunity through our six months program during which you learn skills to transition to being a full-time IT professional. Over 80% of our students have no prior IT background, yet a vast majority of them land jobs a month after they start applying. Our ultimate goal is to reach 100% student placement so we work with every student until he or she gets a job. Upon successful completion of the course, we will give you a resume, interview preps, one-on-one -on -one coaching from experienced instructors and job placement assistants. Within this course, you get more than 300 hours of theories combined with real-world applications and practical skills you can apply on day one on your job. At the end of the program, our students can be certified as Red Hat Systems Administrator, AWS Cloud Engineer, AWS Security Specialist. Visit our website at www.dynamictechacademy.com to register.
The Amber World Draft Award 22 is here. People, it's time to win again. This is the time for us to draft until we draft. That must be our slogan and rallying cry now. And along the way, we should be asking ourselves some critical questions. Are we still enjoying three scroll knees a day? While our boys on the ground lack the basic gear, they need to resist the occupiers. Are we still living a life of luxury and comfort? While our brave restoration forces lack medical supplies at the home front. Are we still throwing big birthday bashes while our restoration forces lack basic communication equipment to maximize their efforts? Are we still going on cruises and expensive vacations while our IDFs on the ground go without food and logistics? Are we still finding excuses not to make the necessary sacrifices and draft and be while our restoration forces lack the game-changing equipment that they so desperately need to bleed the enemy? On a daily basis, how much are we putting aside for our liberation, knowing that only through the fierce resistance are we going to liberate our beloved country. Are we providing the federal government and the CIC the means to carry out some of the critical intelligence and other special operations across the national territory? As we ponder these questions, we must remember that a goal that is not founded is nothing but a wish. And we must not let Amazonia die as a wish because we failed to fulfill our patriotic duties by making the great sacrifices defeating a great people. The world draft once more is coming to your county. Stand up and be counted. No greater victory was ever achieved than by greater sacrifices. We are enough. So let's draft, draft and draft until we drop. Our existence as a people depend on that. It is a what 22. Let us draft until we drop. We the people, ABC Amber TV, Ambazonia Broadcasting Corporation. The voice of the voiceless, the voice of Ambazonia, connecting the world from Africa. With untold stories, Africa's best. Good evening, Amazonians. Welcome to the pre-draft show as well as the recap show. Well, we reported um, on Thursday the misinformation that was out there and unnecessary jubilation from those who wanted the mediation to fail. But we talk about the mediation, of course, you know, we're talking about the Swiss-led mediation process. But after the five-hour town hall meeting with the president, Amazonians have been reassured and refocused with regards to the Swiss-led mediation. Now, the truth about the Swiss-led mediation process is that the BS government has been cowarded out of it. Now, experts say that La Republic du Cameroon's decision to pull out from the Swiss-led mediation is a huge blunder and it plays negatively against them in the international community. According to activist Elangwe Joseph, President Sacco secured the Swiss international mediation for a negotiated settlement to end the ongoing genocidal war in the southern Cameroon's Amazonia. As well as to end the recolonization of Southern Cameroon's Amazonia for over 60 years, now by colonial and genocida French Cameroon. Traders and nebulized blacklegs like Ayaba Cholukaza, Bo Herbert, John Mba Akuro, Akwanga Benizer have worked hard for over three years based on available data to crash the process. Even when they don't have any other alternative, available to them. They just want to crash the process. Very shocking. Well, the important, the special town hall meeting with the president that started a few minutes after 9 p.m. on Thursday, 15 September 2022, was electrifying and largely attended by Amazonians home and abroad. The cumulative virtual attendance was about 700, excluding those watching on our different platforms, all in a bid to hear from the president. 
The excitement and enthusiasm was indicative of one thing the people wanted to hear the president's opinion as far as the sweet led process is concerned. And by implication and according to online opinions, it is clear that the president has the last word. Fortunately, from the energy emitted via the president's speech, he remained focused on one thing, and that was evident, the freedom of the people of Amazonia. And it would appear, though, we do not have details, but the president gave an insight of something bigger than the Swiss-led process. That notwithstanding, he did not undermine the Swiss-led process. The Swiss government and partners are still interested in enhancing this mediation. Now, the IG and the dedicated Amazonians, let's say stakeholders, energized and inspired after the town hall on Thursday are focused on doing what they know how to do best. Now, just before we let it off the hook, today is Meme County Draft. Now, in our usual style, when we draft for counties, we give a few history or information about that county. But for today, we'll leave it for Monday when we will record the success of today. But then there are a few information you need to know about Meme County. Meme County is one of the counties of the Atlantic zone of Amazonia. It covers an area of about 3,105 kilometer with a population of over 1 million, though the colonial government would want you to believe is about 800. Now, the capital of the county is Kumba, the chief town. Meme County summarily is made up of Kumba local government area. Now, you should be informed right now that during the colonial times, Bagundu local government area and Bafo local government area were under, were separated. But right about now, Bangu and Bafu are now under Kumba local government area. Because now in the interim government structure, you have Kumba, you have Konye, you have Mbangui local government area. Now, we will do an in-depth of Meme County by Monday when we come to celebrate the successes that will be recorded today. Well, we have some news highlights right now. An unknown gunman burned down the Catholic Church in the village of Nkan. And as usual, the colonial government and the proxy media is accusing the armed restoration forces. But we'll bring to you the full report by Monday. Victoria suffers plots once again, and we are told that the main bridge there was destroyed. Well, let's get to the recap proper right after this break. draft award 22 is here people it's time to win again this is the time for us to draft until we draft that must be our slogan and rallying cry now and along the way we should be asking ourselves some critical questions are we still enjoying three squirrel meals a day while our walls on the ground lack the basic gear they need to resist the occupiers are we still living a life of luxury and comfort while our brain restoration forces lack medical supplies at the home front are we still throwing big birthday bashes while our restoration forces lack basic communication equipment to maximize their efforts are we still going on cruises and expensive vacations while our IDFs on the ground go without food and logistics? Are we still finding excuses not to make the necessary sacrifices and drafting B while our restoration forces lack the game-changing equipment that they so desperately need to bleed the enemy? On a daily basis, how much are we putting aside for our liberation, knowing that only through the fierce resistance are we going to liberate our beloved country. Are we providing the federal government and the CIC the means to carry out some of the critical intelligence and other special operations across the national territory? As we ponder these questions, we must remember 
that a goal that is not funded is nothing but a wish. And we must not let Amazonia die as a wish because we failed to fulfill our patriotic duties by making the great sacrifices defeating a great people. The world draft once more is coming to your county. Stand up and be counted. No greater victory was ever achieved than by greater sacrifices. We are enough, so let's draft, draft, and draft until we drop. Our existence as a people depends on that. It is a what 22. Let us draft until we drop. Well, welcome back. Before we get into our pre-draft show proper, where well, we have our in-house analysts, let's go through some of the stories we highlighted during the week, just to keep you updated, just in case you missed on Johnson News Recap this week. Now, we start out with um, the story of kidney patients in the equatorial state of Boyer in Amazonia in protest for not having dialysis machine to better their health conditions. Now, standing in front of these patients, the in-house slave uh, director of the Boya Regional Hospital, um, Dr. Martin Mokake, has expressed his inability to single-handedly remedy the situation. Now, he cried out by crying out on the insufficiency of dialysis machines in the health structure. Hence, the protest of over 120 kidney patients who have gone over a week without having their dialysis um, session. Meanwhile, in a communique last week dated September 2nd, the colonial DO of Alu instructs coughing checks to combat insecurity. And you would want to ask if it is in insecurity or self-defense from colonial aggression. Well, anyways, um, Gab Ellison has a report on this. He gave a report on this. Taking by the colonial DO, Sylvian Ngachu Unzomi, the circulation of heavy vehicles has it is evident that the two cubes of sugar is not dissolving as suspected by La Republic du Cameroon. When it all started in 2016, the so-called Anglophone crisis, the colonial ministers of La Republic du Cameroon seeing Southern Cameroon's population just 20% of East Cameroon and West Cameroon put together believed it is easy to crush any uprising from Southern Cameroons. It is six years now and counting, and with the heavy daily deployment of the colonial military of La Republic du Cameroon into southern Cameroons, they have not been able to quench the desire to break away from La Republic du Cameroon in the people of southern Cameroons. Fear has gripped all the colonial administrators in southern Cameroons. That's the more reason why decisions are issued here and there in the name of security measures. One of the recent decisions is from the colonial DO of Alu in Lebialem instituting a search on coffins. There is this witty saying by Chinua Chabe that when hunters decide to shoot without missing, birds will fly without perching. Why are they now panicking? The dance will continue as the music stays. The colonial DO of Alu in Lebialem, Sylvian Ngacho Nzomi, has just issued a decree instituting the systematic control of coffins in certain a task entrusted to the so-called defense and security forces. Apart from the need to combat insecurity, the colonial administrative authority does not give any further reason for this decision. However, there is every reason to believe that the measure aims at controlling the circulation of arms and separatists. Some people claim that militia members obtain arms and ammunition heating in coffins. This is not the only measure taken by the colonial DO, Sylvian Ngachu Unzomi. The circulation of heavy vehicles has been prohibited in the Alu LGA since 2nd September. Anyone who contravenes this measure is liable to have their vehicle seized. The Colonial Administrative Authority has also imposed a curfew on motorbike traffic. Motorbikes are prohibited from circulating from 6 p.m. to 5 a.m. Since 2017, with the start of the armed separatist conflict in southern Cameroons, the Colonial authorities have regularly taking measures to restrict the movement of goods and people for fear of the self-defense volunteer fighters defending the integrity of southern Cameroons. If the colonial administrators and in-house slaves cannot stand the heat in southern Cameroons, let them go out of the kitchen. Gab Ellison reporting for Dontet, 
ABC Amba News. We also told you the Colonial Bamanda 2 Council, under the mandate of the in house slave Chen Wee Peter, provided books and pens to commercial bike riders on Friday, August 9, 2022. There is a video here about it. Upon receiving the materials, the president of the Commercial Motorbike Riders, Ndi Mayenin, on behalf of all the beneficiaries, thanked the colonial mayor and termed him the Jesus of our time. All right, so away from the didactic materials handed to the bike riders, the colonial mayor added a sum of 200, um, 200 to the over 120 bike riders to fill their bikes and start the day. Prior to this gesture, bike riders have had their bikes seized by the colonial military in southern Cameroons. They have equally been restricted from um, circulating within the so-called Bamenda city center. Well, that's it about that report. We have another one about floods again. It was a report we brought to you this week telling you the situation has been worse with the equatorial state of southern Cameroons that are around the Atlantic Ocean. Well, let's see this video of that flood. Now, this was on Thursday, September 8, when heavy rain caused the flooding of the My 3 Mile 4 bridge. Users of the road crossing the bridge were hampered from going through the bridge as a result of the high level of water over the bridge. You can see it for yourself. All right, we also brought you a video in circulation on the changing colors of Lake Coupe Monangubar in Tombal, a town of the equatorial region of southern Cameroon. Now, in the video, the paramount ruler of the Ninong clan chief, Nkwele Emmanuel Magoke, confirmed the strange happening that there is a change in the color of the lake with the waters rising and with dead fishes. Now, on Dothan gathered from sources on the ground that a changing of the color of Lake Coupe Monangubar is no news, given that it is a usual occurrence and that it is historic. And not because the gods are vexed with Amazonian restoration forces as speculated. Now, let's see the video at the Twin Lake. An unusual scene is observed in Bangem, chief town of Coupe Monangubar of the southwest region where the female famous Twin Lake mysteriously changes its original color. Aside that, local sources confirm water creatures like fish, prawns, tadpoles, amongst others, have been found following the mysticism. A situation even the traditional custodians have been unable to explain, one of whom is a paramount ruler of Nino. We don't come for can see the news with the ocean and for we say the woman lake. We came here to see and confirm the information that got us about the female twin lake of Manengoba changing colors and fishes inside the water and other water creatures dying. This information was brought to us this morning by our Bororo brothers who weighed their cattle here. And I had to come here with my notables to see for ourselves what the problem is. We made the lake color change, water rise, and fishes dead and producing a bad smell. Only the scientists can find out what the problem is. In addition, the chief further recounts a similar incident which occurred in the past in this same lake, as he says there was need for an appeasement. It not happen again. Time for our forefathers. This same thing happened in the time of our forefathers towards the Makiza War of 1947, getting to 1951. But our forefathers appeased the gods. So, this message the gods have sent to us again, we believe we need to come together to see what we can do within the days ahead. We thank the gods eh, for the message we do not send them. As of now, the paramount ruler has gone ahead in carrying out some incantations on the lake.
worthy of note, the twin lakes of Moninguba are a pair of crater lakes on the Mount of Moninguba located in Bangem, southwest region of Cameroon. These lakes hold a strong cultural significance for the indigenous people. Shaped in the form of an African map, one of the lakes is believed to be and the other mew. Now that's about it for Lake Kupe Monenguba. Well, we brought to you also in the course of the week that on August 30th, 2022, the Colonial Minister of Transport, Masena Ngale Bibe, opined over the Colonial State Media, CRTV, that the Colonial President Paul Bia of La Republic du Cameroon has ordered the rehabilitation of the Tico Airport, noting that schools, hospitals and Homes have been burnt down as a consequence of the war in southern Cameroon. And the only thing the colonial administration of La Republic du Cameroon is deciding to work on is uh, an airport instead of reconstructing these burnt structures. Well, the, the, one of the major irony from this week is this report. And we have a video of the colonial minister of transport. Um, when you intend to start the project and um, what is the project? So, I introduce myself. Yes, just briefly. I'm uh, born, bred in Boya, grew up in Boya, went to the same liquor. So, Tiko was kind of second home. So, what is the project? The project basically is to rehabilitate and rebuild an airport in Tico. The current airport in Tico in terms of classification is what you call a D airport. So we want to take it to a C airport. So taking it to a C airport, the current runway where we are standing is about 1,300 meters. We need to take it to about 2,300 meters. That's going to enable a, a Boeing 737 and Airbus A320, those type of aircraft to be to land it. So that's the goal, is, that's the type of airport we want to build. So we want to build a very nice, high class, high end airport. When do you intend to start the project and how long will the project go? So the head of state awarded three projects in Tico, in Kribi, and in Beta. Those have already started. If not for all the encroachments, I'll tell you I'm starting tomorrow. I'm ready to go. So unfortunately, we are going to have some delays due to, as you can see, a lot of houses that are inside of the land. So the commission the governor has put in place is for us to walk through that and make sure that we can resolve that situation to be able to, to start. So we, we are ready to go because it's a, it's a project that envisioned 24 months from initiation of concrete work to handing the keys back to the government with the completed effort. Now, last week, Saturday was Bui County draft, and it so happened that the Bui County war drive collided with the genocidal La Republic military invasion of the county. Now, in spite of the colonial genocide of La Republic to Cameroon military invasion of Bui County last weekend, the IG war draft for Bui went on as scheduled and recorded resounding success to prove to districtors and enemies of the liberation struggle that come rain, come shine, Amazonians are bent and will stop at nothing to reach Boya. Truly. Another report we looked at this week was that of the Colonial Northwest Regional Assembly in its eighth session. Considering the condition under which the major national dialogue was organized and coordinated, one should not expect anything much from an institution born from it. Meeting for the eighth time with no visible results of the previous seven times the Assembly had been sitting, all these numerous meetings were seen as just another means to secure allowances for in-house slaves occupying the struggle since they have had no impact so far. Now, here is a video from the week on the streets of Bamender being deserted on Tuesday, September 13th, 2022, and shops locked. Now, the reason advance for the lockdown and the body that called for the lockdown has not yet been very clear. I 
Well, in a letter dated 5th September, the colonial DO instructed these officers to um, refer to the heads of school so that they only let in students in school uniform and these are school uh, departmental authorities a grace period was granted from 5th to 20th at september 2022 for the students to all be in uniform before being accepted in school premises all right, and this report says that in a recent report uh, we brought to you on Thursday, traditional rulers of the Midland and Savannah regions of Southern Cameroons have opted for a spiritual combat against amber fighters as they press up with their quest for peace to rescue their communities from the fangs of insecurity. Now, their decision to go spiritual was accentuated at the eighth season of their so-called Northwest Regional Assembly that was closed on Wednesday, 13th, September, 2022. And the peak of our recap for today would be the United Nations General Assembly, where we brought to you snippets a whole lot about it, including the opening remarks by the Secretary General. Now, this is where we end the recap for today. But most importantly, we have been waiting for something interesting. And we're all here for the pre-draft show for Maymay -May County. All right, all right. After this break, we'll have Mr. Chapa the King uh, take over from there. Draft Award 22 is here. People, it's time to win again. This is the time for us to draft until we draft. That must be our slogan and rallying cry now. And along the way, we should be asking ourselves some critical questions. Are we still enjoying three squirrel knees a day? While our boys on the ground lack the basic gear they need to resist the occupiers, are we still living a life of luxury and comfort? While our brave restoration forces lack medical supplies at the home front, are we still throwing big birthday bashes while our restoration forces lack basic communication equipment to maximize their efforts? Are we still going on cruises and expensive vacations while our IDFs on the ground go without food and logistics? Are we still finding excuses not to make the necessary sacrifices and drafting B while our restoration forces lack the game-changing equipment that they so desperately need to bleed the enemy? On a daily basis, how much are we putting aside for our liberation, knowing that only through the fierce resistance are we going to liberate our beloved country? Are we providing the federal government and the CIC the means to carry out some of the critical intelligence and other special operations across the national territory? As we ponder these questions, we must remember that a goal that is not founded is nothing but a wish. And we must not let Amazonia die as a wish because we failed to fulfill our patriotic duties by making the great sacrifices defeating a great people. The war draft once more is coming to your county. Stand up and be counted. No greater victory was ever achieved than by greater sacrifices. We are enough, so let's draft, draft, and draft until we drop. Our existence as a people depend on that. It is award 22. Let us draft until we drop.
indeed let us draft and draft and draft until we drop dropped because our existence as a people depend solely entirely unapologetically on that thank you once more uh ladies of undaunted for the amazing recap i think if you did not watch the news along the week you have been briefed very succinctly on what we reported to our people from the Amazonian perspective this week. It is interesting to know that we are drafting Meme. You know what Meme has done in the struggle in 2019 or 20. You saw Cameroon government will attack schools. The Cameroonian government understands that Meme County precisely in Kumba is a major stronghold for Amazonia and they're trying by every possible means to dismantle our our self-defense apparatus interestingly with me for this pre pre draft show analysis is uh comrade paul nilong who is one of the officials from meme county and he will definitely be telling us at what level uh, meme is ahead of tonight's draft we're also gonna expand our discussion on issues relating to the swiss led process we can audaciously make some declarations now after listening to the president on thursday the president was clear categoric gave the, the government position and ambazonia's position in regards to that the president also revived and energized the the hall and and the town hall uh, those who were getting discouraged by the unfortunate news and the president gave us a hint that there's something bigger for the nation and that the government is not losing hope and we're staying focused we now understand that it is an apology for cameroon to have made such a decision we understand that from what uh, uh, dr elat was saying yesterday they are looking for a way to withdraw back the, the, the that intention or statement but it would appear it is late they have already indicated to the international community that uh, their bad faith now amazonia has a justification to escalate their self-defense uh, program and la republic to cameroon will have themselves to blame in the days ahead that's what is coming from the interim government to you today we are preparing to to go into the zoom meeting as i speak to you amazonians are already connecting into the zoom they want to talk they want to listen to the president every saturday is a time when they come to listen to the president and to get a vision for the county and to understand why they have to to draft i will not waste your time and right after this i will be coming with paul nilong for us to talk on this matter speak Come report, you're welcome and good evening. Thank you for being patient. We are here to discuss <laughs> about Meme. Talk to us really quickly on what is the Meme County? What are you people planning after the attack of the Copas? What is the structure? All of that is left for you to tell us. I'm here just to listen. Thank you. Uh, uh, greetings, fellow Ambazonians. Uh, greetings, uh, revolutionary fighters. Greetings, freedom fighters. Greetings, gentle people, peace loving people, justice seekers. And the salute for Una. I am your humble servant with my humble self, Paul Nilong. Thank you, Tapadi King, for this uh, wonderful initiative of pre draft, which started, uh, I think, to some few years back. Today, I'm here to talk about Meme. Meme County, which is the heartbeat of Amazonia. Meme County, which when it sneezes, I assure you, you are catch is cold. Because when Meme, I, I want you all to, to, to let's, let's, let's make a small recap of 2016, uh, 2017, the first uh, Takumbeng 
when the former president Sisiko made the call for Takumens to come out on the 22nd of September 2017, the first images that surfaced out of Ambazonia came from Kwakwa. The first Takumben came from Kwakwa. That is the power of Meme County. Always leading. Leading in everything. Today, I want to inform Ambazonians that this same Meme County was hit the hardest by the Coopers uh, game. Meme County was divided completely. Meme County was infiltrated by the Coopers. Meme County is made up of Kumba, Mbonge, and Kunye. Kumba being the, 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 the headquarters of Meme. Nobody listening to me will tell me, as an Ambazonian, you don't have something in relation to Kumba. Tapadi, every Ambazonian, every single Ambazonian, 8 million as we are, have something in connection to Meme County. It's either Mbonge, Kumba, or Konye. You must have something. It is, it, I don't know, you must... You might have, you must, not even might, you might have a relative or a brother or a friend who was passed through Meme, who passed through one, who did something, either schooling or whatsoever. All this I'm saying is because I want all hands on deck. Because we are struggling again to bring back Meme County to her glorious days. The days where you will hear big names. I don't want to mention them. May their souls rest in the most perfect peace. We salute you. We say we will not give up until, until we put that flag and Bongo Square in Boya. So I'm inviting, I'm appealing. That Coopers, even though they are confused now, because they have been led to, 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 to the Temple of Doom, some of them don't know how to come back out of pride. Some of them are even confused. They don't know where to go because the Marianta-led gang has been centered. They have no back in there. They call their Zoom meetings. They call what, what, what. They will not even reach 100. The other uh, notorious karma who calls himself Chris call his own meeting will not even reach forty. So they are they are they are their followers are confused because the firmness of the interim government just one popular town hall meeting. How much did we? How many people did we get? In total, Zoom, YouTube, everything was about two to five hundred people to show the legitimacy of the interim government led by His Excellency Dr. Sapo. So today I am coming out on this pre-draft show to appeal, to make a special appeal to the people of Mbonge, to the people of Kumba, and to the people of Konye. Please, we are struggling to rebuild, not from scratch, but from somewhere. Because from scratch, it means everything was taken. No, we have some faithful soldiers. We have Colonel Tony, who has just released an audio appealing, calling on all to, 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 to draft tonight. I don't know, maybe later in the show, I will play the, 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 the audio from Colonel Tony so that you all will listen, a humble soldier on the ground, fighting, defending whole, homeland. We heard of the attack, I think yesterday at Kosala, there was serious battle going on. So we are not totally from scratch, we are building. We are. We want to build again. We want to carry the temple up again. The foundation was not destroyed. The foundation was not destroyed. But the, the, now the, the talking God about um, uh, Comrade Comrade Paul, you know you're yes. a vibrant person. You're a host on ABC Amba TV. You're, in fact, you were the host 
of deep self-defense briefing but we're, go yeah, we're go which, going which, there i'm expecting you to send me some videos of some of the things that are happening videos that are ratified by you so that i can stream it if you have them send them to me now i'll make sure we stream them so our people can see that i'm sorry we didn't have that earlier on but then i want us to talk yeah. about the the structure the administration in meme meme has a responsible county chair currently i spoke with him yesterday and even today he has been following up to see what we're doing with this program that's i, I can affirm that but then talk to us in specific terms how meme is restructuring and revamping after the invasion or or would i say destruction that or destruction that was caused by by coopers i also know of this other guy that used to present with us um that was also a supplanter he's nowhere to be found neither with the coopers now but he used to be i think the chairperson for meme and uh, he's no longer here he was doing the analyst program but then you are a member of Meme County. Uh, and yeah. there's something sweet about it. You have roots in Gokitunja. This shows something about the, the framework of the Amber Peace Plan not being tribalistic. The president once said, an Amazonian is an Amazonian everywhere you find yourself. You, I want you to talk to us, your connection with Meme County as maybe a progeny from Ngoki Tunja, and also to tell us what is happening with the administration in Ngoki Tunja. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah, uh, with the administration in uh, Meme County uh, at the moment, yeah, after the the Coopers uh, rambling you are talking about, uh, I think Fricks Mesodi, uh, I don't know that young man, whether he has a mental problem because the type of things he write and say, they, they amaze me. But he has gone with his own gang. He was the, the, the former chairman for Kumba LGA. Uh, as of now, administratively, we are still restructuring, we are rebuilding. But I want to thank uh, Tata Onyorika, who is the, the no-nonsense chairman of Meme. He has held that position because we love and we trust him. The people of Meme hold him in high, high esteem. He is a he is a father, a grandfather, I mean, but he's he has dedicated his time and his life to see that his children and his great grandchildren get a better future in Amazonia. So he is the current chairman of the Meme County. Uh and he doubles also as the chairman for Konye. Then at the moment, we have Kumba and Mbonge, which we at, we, at, we have a team for Kumba, which I am leading that team. And you know, I was uh, working closely with the Mbonge people too. So I was the, uh, the, the defense the defense chair, and the, at one point, the assistant defense chair for Mbonge. So we have an executive in Bonge and in Kumba, which I am struggling. I, I, I put in my time to manage these two uh, bodies. But it's a whole team. It's a whole team. I want to thank uh, people like Batye of Bonge for their, uh, I mean, Honorable Daniel. I also want to thank in Kumba, we have Honorable Omalicham, we have uh, Foto. We have uh, uh, Koge, we have so many wonderful people. We are just trying as a team. So we have uh, three separate forums. We have the Mbonge Forum, we have the Kumba Forum, and we have the Konya Forum. But as county, we have the Meme County under uh, the interim government led by His Excellency Dr. Sako. I always like to use this because there is a lot of confusion out there. There are a lot of gangs and groups and small jangi groups calling themselves interim government. So I always want to specify that the international community, I know how they follow my page, they follow all that I do, mostly the, the state house the America, in America, they follow my page. So I always want to specify 
who I am taking orders from. So, um, uh, Meme County has three LGAs, and these LGAs are functional. You know, at, from May right up till the 1st of September, I was down, so I had to take a leave of absence. But what these people are still doing, we have, oh, I don't want to forget China man, who is the sleepless lion. He does not sleep. He does not sleep. He walks from beginning to end. He is everywhere trying to do one or two things at the level of defense. So we have the untire, the tireless China man, Papaya Cafe de Op. He's struggling to assemble all the, 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 the fighters that decided to say, no, we will not take the other track. We will stand by the legitimate interim government. So he's the one struggling to assemble all the, 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 the scrap to rebuild the house because the foundation is still there. So I show you Amazonians, please. If you are a Cooper, you realize that you made a mistake, you made an error to, to follow the, the, the bandwagon of lazy criminals, lazy scammers. Please, the doors of Meme County are open. I have some vibrant ladies in the house. Some, they don't want me to always mention their names. But all these mamas in the house, you know yourselves. My J, let me just call them uh, my J. Yeah, they are, they are one, their name, I just give the first letters of their name. We have my J, we have my E. So you know yourself, please. I want to appreciate all the works you have been doing. There are so many of you. The forums are just, I mean, they, we are building the forums on daily basis. Yeah, my parents are from Gokutunja, but I was born in Kumba, identified as a son of Kumba. Uh, I don't have much in, uh, in Gokutunja because I was born in Kumba. I lived all my life in Kumba. I got married in Kumba. I have all my three kids in Kumba. So I was born in Kumba, my wife born in Kumba, my three kids all born in Kumba. So Kumba is a part of me. Kumba is my home. Kumba is my identity. Anywhere you hear Pony Love, you will hear Kumba. in every future because of the love. In short, Kumba is me. I am Kumba. <laughs> so, brave warriors, our brave restoration fighters, who are still fighting, who are still loyal to the legitimate part. Colonel Tony, we have received your audio. We have circulated it and we will play it as this program goes on. Thank you as you continue to assemble, as you continue to gather our people, to continue to gather our fighters, as you continue to gather our resistant army to fight for justice. Ya cafe de op. So, Pata, we are building and we will continue to build. Meme is growing yes, Allah, stronger it, and it's stronger, interesting. stronger. You know, you are... According to the, uh, I'll call it the northwest southwest dichotomy, which I always say that it is, um, it is a mistake, it is an apology, it is a geopolitical fraud. You are an official cam no go in <laughs> Meme County, which is uh, so. Just hint us. You say you got married. You were born there. You got married there, but you're you are you are a progeny of Ngokitunja. Now, is your wife from Meme County or from Ngokitunja? I want to be sure that you actually admired Meme girls and didn't go to Ngokitunja to pick one. So, where's your wife from? Is it from? No, my wife. Meme? My wife is my wife is born in Kumba, but from the northern uh, the from the from Midland. No, no, no. From from Midland. No, not from uh, Midland. What county? Midland. Which, which county? I know we are from still struggling with a new geopolitical structure. Which county? No, no. From just from Midland. I don't want to expose her a lot. Still from Midland. <laughs> <laughs> so, but many people, when are they so? When are they, but, you no, can't no, no. Sour, you can't no, no. decide. Forget. Come on, go back and marry their sister. 
No, no, no. She was born in. She was born in Kumba. She was. She's a born. She was born in Fiango. I am yeah. born in Fiango. So it is yeah. just like it was meant to be. Um, uh, proximity. I get it. Let's get back to business. You, you, yes. you, you see. I was just trying to show the beauty of of the the structure that we are building. How that there is no tribalism, contrary to what John Baakuru is insinuating. The APP uh, model is the best that Amazonia has had for 60 years. There's nothing like this. It's the most unifying uh, framework I know of. If there is anything better than it, bring it. Is it block by block that is better? <laughs> rooftop by rooftop. It was, that was a Confucianist uh, project. It, it's a project that was built out of loftiness, not wisdom. There was no sense in it. It's a project, a man with his desire, political desire, I wouldn't say liberation desire, goes and study everything about every other country and every other liberation movement and understood nothing about his own homeland and his own people. That's actually what was happening. I am talking to you right now, Amazonians, we are, we are connected in the Zoom links. Uh, Amazonians are already close to 50. Amazonians are, are already signed up in the Zoom. So I'm talking to those watching on Facebook and on YouTube and at the home front. At a particular time, we're going to interrupt this broadcast so that you can go and log in and have an opportunity to listen, uh, listen to the president yourself. It is very important. And Paul Nilong just mentioned a uh, a moment ago, uh, an audio coming in from someone at the home front. I would like to to play that audio right now, so that you listen to it while we get. We, we will come right back, right after this break, right after this audio. We will come back and enhance this discussion. <music> Hello, Southern Cameroonian. Today, on the 17th of September 2022, now, on a humble servant, Colonel Tony, he don't come for come at the voice for back while mommy and my papa them home, at home and abroad for the drafting for my accounting where they today, Saturday. I do want back all, all my mommy and my papa them. May they put the hand of a pocket, they support. The drafting for Meme. For Meme County. Meme, it don't call. I will not stand for who up and back. At the back, Mona support we. Mona support we. We forget materials them for take a hook up Meme. And that will be assured. All mommy, papa, brother, sisters, whether they for diaspora, whether Bonga LGA, Meme Counting, Konya LGA, at the back of for stand up for draft for Meme Counting. At the back of for stand up for draft for Meme Counting. Today, na Saturday, the did day for draft for Meme Counting. Morgan Matera, the voting and push the enemy them out. At the back of for the can draft for draft for draft today na drafting day we na put na hand for pocket for support make we get materials we go make we na be proud we go make meme the meme counting it be proud at the back of na and I come today for salute our president his excellency Dr. Samuel Saku, when are the president for the for the Ambazonian Republic, had come for salute our chairman, His Excellency Tata Onyorika, when our chairman for the Meme County, had come for salute our Pacha man. 
for a good way to work under Mbonge LJ and the Meme counting. A salute all now. Make una no rely on effort. We go make Meme counting a be proud again. We go hook up and for up. We na just support. Put hand for support. We na put hand for pocket for support. The Meme counting. Today na the D day. A time come na plenty. Short live the struggle and long live the Federal Republic of Amazonian. Una humble servant, Colonel Tony, Ondam Bonge, LJ, and Meme County. Thank you, plenty. Colonel Tony, your cafe de up. So why would not they wait for people that watch for Zoom, those who they watch on Facebook and on YouTube, and the Zoom don't get close to 50 people, we are picking lock in right now because soon, very soon, Mr. President go there. You know, we we'll find me president come for Zoom where we are still over there. So we are picking lock, we are picking lock in. We will come back. This the undaunted ladies get some some fine thing for tell. We it be related to why after independence, or after we don't restore Amazonia, why you supposed to visit Meme County. Meme County, like most parts for Amazonia, now a great touristic site and ecotourism for that matter. So I will usher in them. After that, me and Paul Nilong will continue this talk. One know why we get to drive for Meme and wait till we expect, wait till Meme County get for showy after this drive. Right after now, we'll listen to the girls. Stay tuned. <music> All right. Um, thank you so much, Mr. Ta. There is a whole lot to talk about when it concerns Mimi County. But let's start with um, these touristic areas. First of all, we have Lake Dizoni or Lake Dizoni or Lake Sudan. Now, it's a Cameroon crater lake located in the Atlantic region at the foot of the Rumpi Mountains. Now, the lake simply called Ambu by the local population was made famous in 1890 by a Swedish merchant, George Waldo, who baptized Lake Sudern after the governor of Cameroon at the time, Boron Julius von Sudern. Lake Dizoni, also known as Lake Sudern, is a small lake in the volcanic chain in the southwest region of Cameroon. Now, this volcanic lake has a diameter of about 1.25 kilometer and uh, is it, it is at the southeastern foot of the Rumpy Hills. Now, there are only three fishes, fish species in the lake, but all these are endemic. Now, a Procatopus lactus, true probably a synonym for more um, widespread, are uh, undescribed catfish and an undescribed bab, Babus sp. The admit stream, Cardinin sidonesis, is also endemic to the lake. Now um, we have the second touristic site being Lake Barombi uh, or Lake Barombi Mambu. It's a lake near Kimba in the southwest region of Cameroon. Uh, that's southern Cameroon's Amazonia. It is located in the Cameroon volcanic chain and is the largest volcanic lake in the region. It is one of the oldest radiocarbon dated lakes in Africa with the youngest lava flow in it being about a million years old. And on old colonial maps, the area was known as Elephantine Sea, that's Elephant Lake, but the elephants living in the area were extirpated due to ivory trading. All right, we also have the viaduct at Mbakwe Soap, built in the heart of the jungle, the Mbakwa um, Supei Viaduct is arguably the most beautiful bridge in um, Meme County. Now, the fourth interesting touristic site here is the Mobombe waterfall in Mbakwa, Supe, uh, the fifth one, the Hammock Bridge in Konye and Ndoi, the sixth one, the Mbembembe uh, Rock at Mbemi, and the seventh one, the Njoke waterfall at Ibemi, the eighth, the Atanas River at Umbu and in Turkey. There is a host of other touristic sites, but this few for now. 
All right, and we still have uh, Mr. Paul Nelong um, in the interview studio for the pre-draft show with also Ms. Ita. Ms. Ita, over to you. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, thank you very much, Onye and Star. I must say that you two are looking stunning this evening. Uh, I think you are pulling the attention of the Kumba boys. Unfortunately for Paul Nilong, he's not supposed to lay any emphasis on that because he's taking, he just said that on TV right now. I didn't say it. You're looking so wonderful. I'll, I'll, I'll seize this opportunity to thank ABC Amber TV board of directors. I want to thank the board particularly for ensuring that the ladies are so beautifully dressed uh, during every county they are dressed to represent Ambazonia culture and colors. Thank you very much for that. I want to thank the club members. This is made possible because of your donations. I want to thank all the patrons for their passion, their selflessness, and their generous donations. Thank you, thank you, and thank you. And thank you a thousand times, thank you. I'm thanking you ahead of my main draft for today because I know you will do it. You know how to do it. And God has blessed you enough to do it and to do it big. Paul Nilong, we're here today, and Undaunted is making it beautiful for you. Talk to us again. You started by giving to us the, the restructuring of this county. We understand. Give us a little bit more. What should we expect? Are we just going to draft today our monies and we meet a chaos? What is the administrative framework on the ground now? How do, are we sure that what is there now can help to galvanize the volunteers on the ground and so that they can do a good job for the nation? I think uh, I want to assure the, the general population. I want to ad address uh, our future donors. Uh, I have in my life, I have never failed. I have never undertaken any project and failed. That is why the interim government will never fail. That is why, if you see me, I've been so focused and committed. When I stand for something, it's not only physically, but spiritually, I am guided by the Holy Spirit. Every decision and step I take. When my brothers ganged up uh, with uh, that scammer called Chris Anu, there were how many? There were, uh, I don't want to mention their names, there were four or five or activists. And I told them, this step, this journey, you will regret it, you will crash at the end. Because I saw the end from the beginning. I saw the end from the beginning. And like an elderly activist, I think amongst them, I think I'm the most senior activist by age, by responsibility, I'm the most senior amongst all of them. So when I told them that, where you are heading to, <laughs> you will regret it. Even when Siseko started this, his own madness, I sent a message to him. And where is that his so that is so more his so-called gang of what I can call? They are lost in the bush. He put his so-called what uh, vice president. Who how many people know Yerima today? I have always stood by the, the truth. I'm for justice. That is why each time I look at Dr. Sako, I see his vision. I walk with his vision. I walk for his vision. Because I see truth in that vision. So I want to assure every Ambazonian, I've been one of the most consistent activists since this revolution. I've never regretted any decision or step I take. I have never regretted. But if you look at those other small boys and the small girls who call themselves activists, today they are regretting their decisions. They are regretting the step they take, they took, because the people, the 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 the, 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 the person they stood for, thinking he was a, a, a sheep, they never knew he was a, 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 a lion in sheep clothing. So they are regretting. They are making. They are crying. They are licking their wounds, and I'm laughing at them. So I want to inform every Ambazonian that we are standing on the right path. 
What we need are the finances now to build the house. The foundation is there. The house was destroyed. Part of the house, the walls were cracked. But now we need finance to rebuild this wall. The foundation was not touched. The foundation was not touched. Because even some of those soldiers, some of those resistant forces on the ground, some of our restoration forces are now coming back. When they realize that the scammer has become the main actor, they say, ah, so this is what was supposed to be? So I want to assure you that we need these funds. We have a, 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 a military strategy that we want to undertake. I cannot expose that on social media. But I want to assure you that what you heard in Kosala the other day, more will be coming. Not only in Kosala, you hear the ambush the other time in, uh, I think a, a month ago in Konye. More will be coming. And we will reunite the Mbonge Park, the Mbonge Road, the Mbonge uh, area. Now, Paul, you, you just said something that caught my attention. You don't want to refuse yeah. to review strategy. I know the military, uh, the Amazonian self-defense, uh, 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 Amazonian self-defense forces, they are the, or the restoration forces right now are provoked by the news they're getting in from Switzerland. Uh, are you telling Amazonians that you people are provoked by it to in Meme right now to make sure that we have proportionate response from the ground? Don't talk strategy. No, I'm, because I'm, this, I, you know, I, I'm I, expecting I, 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 Amazonians today because of that news to double or quadruple whatever they plant on drafting if they uh, uh, think that we have to win but now are you guys taking it that serious that buddy i want to i want to begin even somewhere i want to begin with the whole issue of the swiss top so finally cameroon was committed to the swiss top before backing out the same people who are announcing that Cameroon is backing out are these same people who are saying that Cameroon have never committed. You can see the hypocrisy in this struggle. You can see the wickedness in this struggle. Just because this talk was initiated and brought into life by Dr. Samuel Sako and the so-called um, 30 years and 40 years in struggle, nothing to show for. They were the first people to say the Cameroon government has announced. Announced what? Were you not the same people who said yesterday that Cameroon had never acknowledged the Swiss process? Today, you are the ones not saying that Cameroon has backed out. La Republic has backed out. Okay, you are proud to say La Republic has backed out. What have you brought in? Nothing. Wickedness, jealousy. That is what you are bringing. Uh, intoxication. You intoxicate Southern Cameroonians. You intoxicate Ambazonians. But I want to assure you, fellow Ambazonians, that our restoration forces of Meme are not taking this talk lightly. The information confirmed in the town hall meeting on Thursday by His Excellency Dr. Samuel Ekomesaku has reunited, has provoked has brought our vibrant restoration forces on the alert. Let me tell you, just draft for Meme, and the provocation will be made real, will come to light. You will see the reality of this provocation. Fellow Ambazonians, this is the second declaration of war the first declaration was on the 30th of uh, November, November 2017. 2017. Yes, so Cameroon. When, when Mr. Paul Bia, returning from Ivory Coast, declared at the Simalek Airport, he declared war, open war, to the peaceful, loving people of Southern Cameroon who were defending themselves from intruders withdrawing from the swiss-led process telling the international community that no we want to settle it in the house they by implication by implication cameroon cameroon is saying 
That's my interpretation. I think the president also agrees with that because I've gone through his speech very closely. Cameroon is saying that they want to conquer war, us in war because they are not even saying, they are not acknowledging that there are two nations. They are calling, they call it a national dialogue. They are not calling it an international dialogue. And I heard their, their, their house slave, John Gute, saying a few weeks ago, anybody, say, he talking about pigeon self, say, Maui no come this one, Naisabi. So they have a standard framework that according to them, they want to impose it on Amazonia. If this is any reason why Amazonians have got to be provoked and they have got to quadruple their efforts, it is now. How did the Swiss process even come about? How did they contact the president? Because of his aggressive self-defense apparatus on the ground. It was, Tata, it, it was no longer, it was no longer, um, I'll have to mute please, uh, it was no longer anything like the rooftop, rooftop, I have been brief on, on Facebook. I like to always go back a uh, history, memory lane when I want to talk on self-defense. When the president took over office, the first thing he said, he said, this is the era of self-defense. And it was not just yeah. talk. Within mm -hmm. 90 days, close to 10,000. It was not recorded by the interim government. As I was doing the research, it is not even a, an Amazonian or a Cameroonian that gave this. They said, within three months, you had volunteers. They would want to call them armed groups or separatist group. That's how they call it. I was reading an article. 10,000 young men and women were already properly orientated and positioned to defend their homeland. There are two things from a spiritual perspective you understood there was a grace and this was a grace that yeah. never existed from gotidinka in early 90s actually announced that there should be self-defense he said the only way we can fight this cruelty is through self-defense and then it came into reality in 2018 we saw that in asc we saw we are seeing the draft now and so we are asking you amazonians to draft not from from somebody who is trying to do an experiment, from someone who has proven that he knows exactly what to do and how to go about it. I'm calling on, on those watching us now, call your friends to say that the draft as it, for Meme is already on. Join the Zoom now. We have about 60, at least 60 people already on Zoom. That, that's quite encouraging. But this is 9 p.m. in Amazonia. And uh, as soon as resource mobilization gives us the cue, we will automatically stop this show. So I'm calling on you to call, go to your LGAs. The beautiful thing is Undaunted has access into different LGAs and Amazonians are already drafting. Thousands of dollars has already been drafted by different LGAs and counties. And that's, that's quite encouraging. To make sure that you sit down and enjoy tonight, get yourself ready to listen to the president. Hey. I'm coming back with Paul. I'm not hey. done. I'm coming back with Paul. Just watch this musical break and I'll be back. Go 
I say one day. So painful for see one brother they kill another brother. Papa God, now you want know this story. Now you want know this story. My papa, what did you have for this place now? Hey, begin the day for push show. Then no get water, oh that yo. Then this is go. God go here, we pray. We no get the house them. They don't burn what has them that you make you just pray. Oh, God, go here, yeah, what prayer? Sing with me one day. God, go here, yeah, what prayer? That you want to do. God, go here, yeah, what prayer? I say one day. God, go here, yeah, what prayer? That you want to do. God, go here, yeah, what prayer? See how yeah, they don't burn what has them for some reason. Papa, the daddy won't get get no. Who go feed our piggy bag? One day, God go here, what pray ya, daddy? One day, God go here, what pray ya? I say one day, God go here, what pray ya, daddy? One day, God go here, what pray ya? Begin the did I yo, mommy then did I yo, brother oh, United Nation. Just the lucky mob, politician them more. They say ni soja o dati for kid ya brother. Who go hear this story? Hey, one day, go go hear what pray ya o dati. One day, oh, go go hear what pray ya. I say one day, go go hear what pray ya dati. One day, oh, go go hear what pray ya. Mexi if Kemayo and manager Jack Ramo L'Éternel est mon berger je ne manquerai de rien Gloire à Dieu Maxi champion Assez Foundation Espoir des enfants démunis Caravan Penwell. One day, God go here, my prayer, Daddy. One day, God go here, my prayer. One day, God go here, my prayer, Daddy. One day, God go here, my prayer. One day. If the chairman of your county is not in this, in this, uh, Zoom, please make sure you reach out to them. It is very unfair that when um, people fellow drop, Amazonians, they don't as you can hear, exactly when, when they drop, they disappear. When they don't they support other people. people. So that's not right. Every yeah. chairman should behave according to the Andrea. This is not right. Fellow Amazonians, you can hear the sound coming in from the Zoom. I think uh, as soon as we get to a certain number, I've received a firm instructions on that. We will hand over to the officials of the Meme County to carry on with this exercise of tonight. That notwithstanding, that notwithstanding, we need to continue with this program. Mr. Paul, talk to us. You just that's a Kumba boy talking, and we are listening to you. The floor is all yours. Yeah, uh, I want to also, there's something that just happened today, and I want to make a comment about it. Uh, it's coming from Manfe, uh, Manu, Manu County, the burning of a church and school in uh, Cham. I reach, I've reached out to the spokesperson for uh, National Self-Defense, uh, Ayamba, Commander Ayamba, and I've also reached out to Comrade Willie, the chairman for my Manu, and they said they are not aware. But uh, I want this message to reach uh, Bishop uh, Abangalo of Mamfe. Uh, Bishop Abangalo, you came into a scene. You were insinuating that uh, the restoration fighters have burned your church. 
And even a by a, 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 a a standard, a, stand, a person who was uh, standing by was even trying to make a comment. You did not listen. Bishop Abangalo, the politics of Archbishop Kea, rubbing hands with Yaoundé, using every slight opportunity to discredit the restoration fighters will not help you. If you think you will follow the full step of your brother, Archbishop Kea, then I think you will fail, hopefully, in Manfi. When you something happens, take the track record of who are born us. Take that track record. We saw military burning schools openly in Libya. Land. We saw them. On several occasions, military have targeted and killed children. Restoration fighters Genuine restoration fighters fighting for the cause of liberation will not burn a church. Will not burn a church. It has never happened since the beginning of this war. And all of a sudden, La Republic backs out of the Swiss process and you see things like that start happening. And when you come into the field, you draw your conclusion and you enter your car and you go away. Bishop Alusius Abangalo, please, whoever is listening to me and you have a contact with that bishop, he's my bishop. I'm a Catholic, a born, and, a, 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 and I will die a Catholic. But I will not stay quiet when I see things like this happening in the church. So, Mr. Bishop, your Lordship, please, before you make comments, before you conclude, make a proper investigation. We know two priests, I, I heard uh, uh, Father, Reverend Father Asaba and Father Anjingwa and some other Reverend sisters were captured and were asked, they are asking for a huge sum of money. Our restoration forces, disciplined, structured, will not do that. They will not do that. So whoever now, is this, this is vital because you know everything that we say on this platform is followed closely. Can you authoritatively say that the Amazonian Restoration Forces were not involved in the Asian Adja village? Yeah. After after a close conversation and follow up with the chairman of Manu County. Uh, uh, Chairman Willy, he said yeah. he is not aware that his boys will do anything like that. He is not aware. Now, here's the question. He is not aware that his boys will do it or his boys didn't do it. There are two different he, things. When I say he's not aware, it means he is, they are not his uh, restoration fighters. Okay. The people who committed that act are not restoration fighters of Manfi, of Manu. So they are men who can rightfully say Known and unknown uh, amen. I will, I will authoritatively tell you that it is the handwork of Cameroon military. Okay. Paid saboteurs. It is their handwork. We know who are those who usually burn schools. We saw it in um, um, Sacred Heart Mancon. They were on guard. They burned schools. We have seen so many they schools they burned. They have always done in it. Kumba, you now, saw, in, Kumba, you saw, in Kumba, you saw what they did. Yeah. So please, I want to tell my bishop that before you conclude, let there be proper. You are an authority. When you come to a scene, something just happened, and you start making all trances, which like shows Reverend that you Kobe, are already concluding. It's dangerous. Like Reverend Kobe, I think the, the, the so called. What is funny to me is I was born Kali Girl, that Kali, that's a discussion for another day. But like Reverend Formiki, most of the clergy, especially those of the Orthodox churches, churches in Cameroon, I would say they are corrupt. Reverend Formiki was also biased in his utterances when it came to the situation in Bali, and he has never been apologetic. That's a man who stood and apologized to Cameroon government when they they came after him in in, in in boya 
or in Victoria, he apologized. But even after the truth of the event was exposed in Bali, Nyonga, he has never apologized to Amazonia. On the contrary, he keeps on trying to do politics. And that's the same thing. And that's the same report we're getting it. So whatever the situation is, I want the, the church leaders who are watching us, go and read church history. What happened to the church in Antioch, in Syria? Say the, nom the nomadics or the Islamic fighters came. It's not true. When, this, when you start being dishonest as a church leader or as a church organization, before long, your people lose faith in you and you weaken the power of God in your church. And before long, it's taking over. Where a weak church, I tell people, it's a paradox for a pastor to stand and group their members for them to start preaching peace and praying for peace. It's not even scriptural. It's not in scripture. It, it defies scripture. For you to be preaching and talking about peace, and in the same token, you're not saying anything about justice. I, I want to seize the opportunity to talk about one pastor I saw had a crusade. I don't want to call the name for now, but I, I have personally written to the ministry. Carrying the green, red, yellow frack in Douala just a few days ago. Purportedly praying for peace. And the, what I wrote is, you need to learn to understand scripture. When Paul was admonishing, or Peter was admonishing the church, and he told them to add knowledge. I think as a, a senior pastor or, or whoever, you need to know the history of Southern Cameroons, and you know that the green, red, yellow flag, one star, is a symbol of betrayal. And you can just better do your crusade and pray than to have the flag wrapped over you. It turns off the anointing. For anybody who has an understanding. <clears throat> and God is definitely not an architect of your ignorance. So these Christians that are watching us at the home front right now, you may have to take information to your pastors. When they, You better just stay out of talking about politics. If you want to get involved, either through prayer, because your, your intention to pray is, a, is already a, a stand you're taking. And what are you praying for? You're either praying a good prayer or the right prayer or the wrong. The, the reason why there will never be peace after you have prayed is because you prayed the wrong prayer. You have to pray with understanding. No, no, before we even go back to go what, we, what, what, what I'm here for, let me, let, me, let, me, let me make you understand something. They are praying for La Republic. It doesn't, you know why those prayers don't bother me? They are praying for peace in La, La Republic. They are not praying for peace in Ambazonia. We are at war. They are praying for peace in their succession rights so that when they are, when Paul Bia's son will be taking over his father, there will be peace in that country. You cannot be praying for peace in one country and you are referring another country. That pray, Those prayers don't concern Ambazonia. So stop uh, bothering yourself about even writing to them. The international community knows that Saudi, Cameroon, and Bazonia is a nation. So if you want to pray for peace, you will put the Ambazonia identity and you put the La Republic identity. You pray that peace should come. And that peace, it is only a third party negotiated settlement that will bring that peace. Any other thing is justice. So you don't even need to bother yourself because spiritually, the heavens know that Southern Cameroons and Bazonia exist. So if you are praying for peace, you're carrying a flag of La Republic with one star. It means you are praying for La Republic that got her independent on the 1st of January 1960. You're not praying for Ambazonia. Ambazonia got her independent on the 1st of uh, October 1961. So please stop bothering yourself. All those who are carrying that flag, they are just, they are, they are, they are, they are looking for their profits. They are not praying for peace. It, it doesn't concern yeah, Amazonia. So I want to go back to my quickly, But I just want to announce to you to be brief a little bit because we're about hitting the number on Zoom based on the instruction that has been given to me. As soon as we hit it, we will automatically suspend this program 
and we'll shut down the stream on Facebook and in YouTube so that you can join the president in the Zoom link. We'll come back live when the president wants to address the nation and Meme County. Go right ahead, Paul. Yes, I want to acknowledge uh, one of my special friends in Canada who caught me uh, two days ago uh, promising his draft that Paul, I see you, I see your vision, I see everything you do. I am drafting for Meme. Send me the link, the payment details. I will pay. I don't have the money in full, but I will pay bit by bit. I want to thank you, my special friend in Canada, my special big brother in Canada, my special prayer partner in Canada. I want to thank you for that wonderful support. You made my day on that particular call made my day. So I also had some appeals that I made. I am begging, I am calling on, uh, I am begging uh, the president, the vice president. I also mentioned some names like Uchiba Nelson, Ambazonia Bobo, um ambazonia bobo melichi and the our mama kemi ashu that they should need to support to build up i am also making a special appeal to my vice president papa eric Ates. i am also making an appeal to uh comrade uh, amos the chairman of the board of directors abc chairman for chairman for fungo kutunja please we depend we depend on you people meme meme is reviving meme is waking up from sleep i see the wonderful work that nijo and ma irene has been doing the chairman but i don't which name will i call there are so many in the forums please meme is counting on you tonight we want to make it big again we want to make it big again, and it can only be you for us. So I am making a special appeal. All my friends, all my brothers who know how committed I have been, Mama Peshana Biedum, Dr. Uh, Mama Tima uh, I don't know which name, Dr. Tita, at which, where will I start? Dr. Uh, Dr. Elat, I am calling all of you. Mama Yaya, I am calling all of you. Please. I don't know which name to call and which one not to call. The names are many. Please join us in this Zoom as we welcome the president. I'm making a special appeal to the presidential train for maximum support. Amen. The boy will be professional beggar. Congratulations. You try. You, you're, do, you're doing very well. You, 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 you call the names like Longe Longe doing it in his music. And there's no way this... Maybe I should re echo some of the names you said, uh, Vice President Mara Share. Help me if I, you know, you're calling them. This is direct confrontation. So, uh, Amazonians, fellow Amazonians, ladies and gentlemen, you would have to join. One of the ways you have to join to help Comrade Pony Long, you all know what he's done when it comes to, and, and he has to promise us that he will be more committed, hence with uh, uh, the IG defense brief, briefing because Ambazonians are uh, hungry for it. So you, you, those of you who love that program, take an advantage to inspire him so that his technology on the ground in Meme can go on. You know, Meme is very strategic. You saw what we said today, based on the, the, the roads we have now that have been tarred from Bamenda, you have to go through Meme into Fako. It's it, it's the main. It's a it's a cosmopolitan city, and I would say there's a lot of business going in there. In Meme, Meme, you have a lot of people from neighboring Nigeria coming there to do a lot of business, and that's precisely in Kumba. You know what Kumba is now, Kumba boys. So all the Kumba boys watching us today, it's you can draft, even if uh, you can. Let's make Kumba proud. Kumba begin yeah. all the Kumba. Yeah. So. So as we uh, as we're logging in into the Zoom right now, I want you people to enjoy this beautiful music. I think coming from before, but Paul, you make a last statement and do it brief. We we are we are close to a hundred people on Zoom, and I shouldn't be holding you here now for any reason. You have just a few seconds to give your last remark as we hand over to 
the county officials to kickstart tonight's event. Yeah, uh, like as I told you before, that will be uh, defense briefing will kick off or officially strong again on on from September. Like you can see, this is the month of September. This is my second appearance on ABC, and you can see the background is a little bit different. It's steady as compared to the others. Uh, I think I'm trying to, to build up a small studio where uh, I will be doing my defense briefing uninterrupted, and you always have this uh, a consistency. So please, I'm appealing to all of you when the drafts will be over, you know, defense briefing needs a lot of time. When the draft will be over, defense briefing will start automatically every Saturday from 6 p.m. So rest assured that any support, if you love defense briefing and you want to encourage me, action has to happen in Kumba, in Bonge, and in Konye. And it is only what you will support us, Meme County tonight, will help to encourage me, to motivate me, to bring back defense briefing to life. Because when I shoot video, when I bring videos from my own county, I mean, just, just imagine how it will be. So I am appealing to all of you, the names I cannot call, but if you have my number, enter, please join the Zoom now. I mean, join the Zoom. Join the Zoom now and you do something for us. You are not doing it for me. You are not doing it for them. You are doing it for yourself. You are doing You're it for your future generation. generation. You are doing it for your future generation. You are doing mm. it for posterity. Thank you for this wonderful opportunity as we go into the Zoom link. Thank you. Above all, you're doing it for Amazonia. Fellow Amazonians watching it, as you prepare to listen to the president, and I think by 10 p.m. Amber time, the president will surely be addressing the nation based on the program that's in front of me if everything goes well. And um, I'll leave you with this wonderful music. We will be stopping the, the broadcast on Facebook and YouTube in a few minutes, but definitely we'll be back when the president is about to address the nation. Stay tuned. Bebe Otans, Kamikaze Back to Life. Kimuri Mutwa Nanyonga, Hombe Kedoro, Kuri Koi Numbanga, Amaru Kimoni. Kimuri Mutwa Nanyonga, Aiba Kekumba, Kuri Koi Numbanga, Amaru Kimoni. Kuruwa Kamoni, Maweni, Muruwa Moni. Kiburi moto ananyonga, aiba kekumba, kuri koi numbanga, amaru kui moni. Kiburi moto ananyonga, aumbe kenyoro, kuri koi numbanga, amaru kui moni. Kuruwa kamoni o maweni muruwa moni, neke uruwa kamoni o maweni muruwa moni. Kuruwa kamoni o maweni muruwa moni, yewe kondoe. Ia sisili ya beri ya mutane. Kuruwa kamoni o maweni muruwa moni Kuruwa kamoni o maweni muruwa moni Kuruwa kamoni o maweni muruwa moni We kondoe Pastor Elangwe Ezoe Church of Christ Pride Land Christian Orphanage Ututu Naso ite papa Kujiaka uwe o maweni mokuwe buwe Kujiaka uwe o maweni mokuwe buwe Ujiaka uwe maweni mbuwe buwe uwe kondoe Ujiaka uwe maweni mbuwe buwe Niko ujiaka uwe maweni mbuwe buwe uwe kondoe Motina alfrensu ilo base My brother nazo idewo Ay kondo, ay kondo Kondo waka 
Kamoni o mawe ni mudu wa moni Niko jakabu we o mawe ni mubwe buwe Mudu wa kamoni o mawe ni mudu wa moni Niko jakabu we o mawe ni mubwe buwe Mudu wa kamoni o mawe ni mudu wa moni Niko jakabu we o mawe ni mubwe buwe Mudu wa kamoni o mawe ni mudu wa moni Niko jaka uwe mawe ni mubwe buwe Madame Elangwe Mado Right land nez you primary and secondary school Boss, boss akonjo I konjo are you Kim mani Tukwani, 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 tukwani Mamwe ni jalwi moni ye Atobe kondo njalwi moni ye Ligu ka mwere Mwana mboka o Bamwe ni njalwi moni ye Atobe kondo njalwi moni ye Ligu ka mwere Chaka biaka e Mwenyele mabanga mwona nga isai Omara sase mosa sase keke Ise batobana nyunga Tutongi isase Uweli onuru Njalwi ko njalwi moni ni kwe mwenyele Mwenyele mwona kandabu Muraka mitua, muraka mutua na nyunga Njalwi moni Mamwe ni njalwi moni Atobe kondo njalwi moni Libuka mwenyele Sango soni kaleba, South Africa Manso de vita tua Minyamaju matingene Imani, tukwani Imani, tukwani Imani Muto na nyonga kundi njabaye Ama ikendwa koriye Devinya kotimbaye Oma waronga mandabwe Wanda na mito waye Neke ikendo koriye Oma waronga mandabwe Wanda na mito waye Neke ikendo koriye Muto na nyonga kundi njabaye Amai kenda koriye, ebi nya kodi baye. Muto wana nyonga kundi njabaye. Amai kenda koriye, ebi nya kodi baye. Princess Pauline Mediko, nya matu mati ganeko. Ela kani, tukwani, bimani, tukwani. Batata kalo icy, tukwani. Na batata iti e Nixon. President e Toto Julius Wongo mo Wewa wami oma orwi iko Nywe ilo njyo woka Batinga oma rongweni Jaru bekele manyoro Toto Toto Ose kondo Ise bakeleo That's a beautiful music coming in there from Kumba. I'd just like to announce to the officials of Meme County that the show is all yours. You can take over. And I will just keep the people on the home front watching and enjoying the beautiful music coming in from Meme.